Good evening, YouTube, BookTube. This is Johnny. It's been five days since I made a video, and the books are piling up. I got used books from thrift stores, the Book Nook, the library used bookstore where I volunteer on Mondays and Fridays from 10 to 1. And yeah, so I thought I'd just show them. I, I thought about doing a video about what I'm reading in the mornings for devotions. I thought about showing the new books I got in the mail. But I figured that people like book hauls. Uh, and as I've said, uh, last summer I went through my library and took out a couple thousand books and I'm trying just to, when I go to thrift stores, I try to buy things that I, buy subjects and authors I didn't de-haul. And because uh, I don't want the lower level to become like it was, <laughs> total chaos down here. But as you all know, the history of the lower level, I got bookshelves, not bookshelves, bookcases built here. You can see one in the, over there, those, and there's some in the back. I, I got one, two, three, I think I got 12 bookcases that holds about close to around 300 books a piece. I had some old bookcases in here. I figure I got around 10,000 books down here and a couple thousand upstairs, but uh, I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to show you the book haul. And today is today is a Wednesday night. It's going on 8:30 at, at night here in West Michigan. I'm down the lower level. I've been sleeping down here. I was sleeping upstairs and with my wife and like I did for years, but I found that lately I sleep better being alone. And I don't like sleeping down here because I get lonely and I don't like sleeping with all my books. But the, the extra bed we have down here, we sleep down here when we have family or here on when they're visiting. And uh, we have an old bed down here that I can sleep in. And I, can, I tend to move around a lot and I'm, I'm a very light sleeper. And if I bump into my wife, I wake up. If I... If I, my wife gets up at four o'clock in the morning, I wake up. My wife goes to bed. She went. She just went to bed at eight o'clock, and she'll get up at four o'clock in the mornings. And she reads the Bible and she prays and she does bakes and things like that. But anyway, I just thought I'd show you the used books. It's a Wednesday night. It is. What day is today? can't remember. I think it's the fifth it's the 15th of December 2021 because tomorrow afternoon at two o'clock I have a session with my therapist which I've not seen in five weeks and I've not been doing too good lately. I've been going through a bad spell feeling depressed and feeling dread, anxious, traumatized by living in this fallen world, I suppose. But enough of that. First of all, I thought I'd just show you a book I got in the mail today. I got this Lucky Bruce, a literary memoir by Bruce J. Freeman. The reason why I got this, as you all know, watching my videos for the last five years, I like memoirs. I like mid literary memoirs. I like memoirs by writers, editors, poets, artists. And I had been reading the collected short fiction of Bruce J. Freeman. I never heard of him until just a couple of weeks ago that he was a writer during the, I think during the 80s. This came out in 1997. But he was born in 1930. I think he passed away. But he, uh, I never heard of him. And so I, instead of buying a novel by him, I, I like being, I, 
I'd start with his short short fiction. So I've been reading this and then I found out that he wrote a memoir. So I got this in the mail. Book I got last time at the Book Nook uh, last Monday. Monday, uh, I collect the uh, the the writings of Van Wick Brooks, who what well, he wrote uh, books on literary biographies uh, of uh, like he wrote a book on the life of Emerson. Emerson and others. He has a whole bunch of books and uh, I didn't have this from the ordeal of Mark Twain. I was going to show you my collection of his books but I don't want to do it. <laughs> so I've been reading this one. I, I, I've been collecting uh, the literary biographies of Van Wick Brooks for years and I never really read him. I've known about him. He's a very famous literary man, a man of letters. And I saw this at the book nook and I bought it for a couple of dollars. And I've been reading that. I, as you all know, I have a, a large Mark Twain, Samuel Clemens collection. So I've been reading that. And also, I got this last month at Blue Stockings Bookshop for 50 cents. Mark Twain and his world, Justin Kaplan. Now Justin Kaplan wrote a very uh, a very famous biography on Samuel Clemens, Mark Twain. But this is like a condensed kind of version called Mark Twain and his world, Justin Kaplan, America's greatest writer in wit. So I just been reading this along with uh, Brooks' uh, literary biography on Mark Twain, the ordeal of Mark Twain, and I have two other biography. I have other biographies on Mark Twain. I got a huge Mark Twain collection. So I put that aside. I'm just gonna go really fast now. Today I went to Bibles to Mexico and found these books. Bibles to Mexico is a couple blocks from where we live. This is called Dead Wake, The Last Crossing of the Luf Lusfania by Eric Larson. I collect them. I didn't have this one in my Eric Larson collection. I think he has a new one out that I don't have. Eric Larson. You all know him from if you're into booktube, you've seen his books. And then I found this edition of Herman Melville's The Confidence Man, His Masquerade. I didn't have this. I thought I did. I still might, but it wasn't cataloged in my library thing. And this is a Delkey Archive Press edition, which I didn't know when I bought it, but Herman Melville. Uh, I have a, a huge American Transcendentalist collection. I have a, a large Herman Melville collection. Of course, you saw in my last video that edition of Moby Dick the Whale by Herman Melville. And then I found a book at Bibles to Mexico by Scott Spencer. I collect his novels. This one I didn't have and it's only 25 cents. Man in the Woods by Scott Spencer. I was, I have not finished, but I've been reading his novel, A Ship Made of Paper. And I've been reading Scott Spencer. I like his novels. Uh, I collect Europia editions. This is an Europian edition. I have a whole bin. I have maybe 50, no, maybe at least 30, maybe more of the Europia editions. They have these kind of covers and they have Europia. I have a, like an Europia over here. I keep by my table here. Let me get it. Oh. I have a whole bin in the back room of Europia editions. I keep this one on my d down here. No, uh, Krista Wolf, one day a year, 1960 to 2000. This is an Europia edition. But this one, uh, A Dog Day by Alicia Gemnes Barnett. This, it's like a, a, a crime fiction. 
and it's translated out of Spanish by Nicholas Castellar. I had I had this, but I wasn't sure. It was only fifty cents. I collect the writings of the historian Antonia Fraser. This is Lewis, the Love and Lewis the Fourteenth, the Women in Life in the Life of the Sun King. I'll take this to the Book Nook Friday because I already have it. I wasn't sure when I got it. And then I like books on. Uh, American history and I found this one at Bibles to Mexico outrageous passion uncommon sense how editorial writers have taken on the great American issues of the past 150 years by Michael Gardner and the news newsum it's kind of like it just goes to American history the last 150 years and how editors of newspapers reacted to certain major historical events in American history, like the bombing of Pearl Harbor by the Japanese. And then you have like uh, Jesse Owens, you know, the, the famous uh, 1937, I think he was in the Olympics. And then you have all kinds of things. I don't know. I just got it because it was only 50 cents, American history. I like all the photographs. Uh, it just looked interesting. Uh, so I got that. See, it has all these kinds of photos. And then I picked this up at the Book Nook Friday, no, last Monday. I have a, I have a, a Abraham Lincoln collection. This is Lincoln's Melancholy, How Depression Challenged a President and Fight Fueled His Greatness by Joshua Wolf Sheik. I didn't have this one in my Lincoln, my Lincoln collection. I got this at the Humane Society thrift store. They just opened up, they moved to a new location and my wife and I went there to check it out and I found a novel by Jim Crace, The Melody. I collect his writings, he's a British writer. I collect him and this is what I didn't have in my collection, The Melody. I found this at Goodwill. This is Ravished by Beauty. The Surprising Legacy of Reformed Spirituality by Binlin C. Lane. I already had another book by him I've had for a long time. He wrote this book, Exploring the Desert Solace and a Mountain Fierce Spirituality. That doesn't sound right. The Solace of Fierce Landscapes, Exploring Desert and Mountain Spirituality by Balin C. Lane. I had this for a long time, then I found this one the other day at Goodwill. Ravished by Beauty, Surprising Legacy of Reformed Spirituality. He has different chapters, like he has a chapter on uh, John Calvin on the world of the theater of God's glory, uh, desire, nature and desire in 17th century Puritanism. Jonathan Edwards on Beauty, Desire, and Cincinnati World, Transformed by Beauty, Environmental Ethics, and the Wildness of God, things like that. So I found that at Goodwill. And then, uh, I can't remember what I found. I found this one at Goodwill, To the Frontier by Jeffrey Morehouse. This is a travel memoir when he traveled to Pakistan, up in the mountains of Pakistan. Uh, this was published in oh, 1985. I had another book by him on Celtic, uh, Celtic monasteries, uh, ancient Celtic uh, religious sites, but I gave it to our son Josiah. I found this at 
a thrift store in Zealand time of gifts by Patrick Lee Fillmore I I had this is a series of three this is the first one it's where he travels it's it's called a time of gifts on foot to Constantinople from the hook of Holland to the middle of the, the uh, Danube and I this is the first volume this is the second I already read this one I read I showed this a couple years ago between the woods and the water on foot to Constantinople the middle Danube Danu, Danu, to the Iron Gates and this is the first one so I found this there's a third one which I don't have and then I found this at a local neighborhood small library you know you open up and there's books in there this is we when we were lucky we were the lucky ones this is a novel it's one of those holocaust novels uh, by G Georgia Hunter finalist for the National Jewish Book Club Award I saw I've seen this in different thrift stores and then I saw it in the neighborhood local library you know those little things that in front of people's houses they put books in there and you can take them out and you can put books in so I grabbed it I saw this at the Humane Society I have a paperback but then I found this hardback edition the Lost Children's Archive by Valerie Luce, Lucella I can't pronounce it she wrote that book tell me how it ends I have a couple of her books I had this in paperback I found a nice hardback perfect condition I got it for I think a dollar it goes for almost thirty dollars and then I found a Philip Kerr that I didn't have in my collection I just been reading one of his Bernie uh, Guntry novels this is the one I think he lost he was real uh, he was writing just before he died Metropolis by Philip Kerr this is a Bernie Kundr Gunder novel so I found that at the Humane Society then I found these at Gateway which is the thrift store for the Holland Rescue Mission towards a new architect by I can't pronounce it French name this was published in 1923 it's considered a classic on modern modern architect back there in the 30s and it has I know it was only you know 50 cents and I like these uh, Dover these uh, Dover books I like these I don't know they, they, they put out interesting books Dover I found one also there at Gateway on Abraham Lincoln's greatest speeches this is a Dover thrift editions I got this at the book nook I like little dictionaries on obscure words and slang 1811 dictionary of the vulgar tongue with a foreword by Robert Cromney this came out in oh when did this publish this was published in I don't remember but it's it's a reprint I forgot when it came out but I like I like word books dictionaries obscure words slang uh, it just looked interesting it was only a dollar you know I collect the novels of William Boyd I found this at the Humane Society he's a British writer that I collect I didn't have this one in my William Boyd collection love is blind and then I bought this at the book nook this is uh, an autobiography by the uh, playwright uh, he was a lyricist he wrote songs he I think he was an actor this is Noel Howard this was his he wrote a series of autobiographies and this is the first one I have his diaries over there and I have a biography on Noel Coward but this is um, his autobiography that when 
in the early 30s. Yeah, well, it starts uh, in 19, about 1900 and it ends around 1931. This one cost me $5. And then I bought a second copy of the history by uh, Erotus. I had this already in a paperback. In a different translation. This translation is by, this is Ancient Greek History. This is translated by David Green. It's a different, and it's a Chicago University edition. And I really want, I, I read parts of this a couple of years ago, and I want to get back into it. So that's what I got at thrift stores. I got the book nook, the blue stockings bookshop, uh, Bibles to Mexico, Goodwill, Salvation Army, Humane Society, and now I can, oh, I got this too, in Ian Pierce, the Gretto's Hand, I, I had this already, I have all of his novels, which I thought I didn't have this one, but I did, so I'll take this to the book nook. This is, these are art history detective kind of books. Also, I bought this book at the Humane Society, Women in Front of the Sun on Becoming a Writer by Judith Ortez Coffer. I like books about writers and how they got into becoming writers and what, what, why they write and what inspires them, what their struggles are. And this was it's just a little book it only cost i think 50 60 cents so yeah that's what i got so this is kind of a big huge used book haul so yeah i've not been doing 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 too good the last five days i've been taking taking my xanax praying 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 staying in the word of god staying in the holy bible Staying in scripture, looking to the Lord for grace and strength, and uh, just praying and praying and praying. So I hope that the last five days you had a good reading week, a good that when you have a good reading weekend coming up. And the weather here has been kind of nice. It's been in the, today. It was in the 50s. It was gray and damp and rainy somewhat. Tomorrow it's supposed to be sunny. And it might be a slight snow towards the end of the month, but nothing serious thus far, as far as Michigan winter weather. Uh, so that's it. And uh, I thank you for your comments. Thank you for the new subscribers. And do pray that you would keep me in your prayers. I always pray for you guys out there, all those who reach out to me in their comments and subscription and uh, for your support and for your encouragement. So, until next time, bye. <laughs> and uh, I do, do, do hope you have a good weekend and that you're all safe during this COVID-19 upsurge. I think that's all because people got together on Thanksgiving and people contaminated one another with their viruses and here in Michigan the hospitals are crammed people are dying yeah yeah 800,000 Americans have died with, from COVID and it's getting really serious so get vaccinated wear a mask wash your hands practice social distancing don't become too comfortable and so anyway until next time, bye.